In this video I will talk about termites. So, uh, social insects are species of insects that live in colonies and manifest three characteristics. Group integration, division of labor, and overlap of generations. Social insects are best and exemplified by termites, ants, whereas honeybees and wasps. While, while termites first emerged from the group of cockroaches around 150 million years ago, ants and other, uh, other uh, social uh, insects, including bees, only appeared 50 million years later, so it's 100 million years ago. Termites evolved from wood-eating cockroaches, and like ants, some bees and wasps, termites can be divided to workers and soldiers that are usually sterile. And all colonies have fertile males uh, called kings and one or more fertile females called queens. Okay, what I would say, uh, this video is long, so to save your time, I recommend to download the presentation. The link is in the description to this video. And uh, then uh, what my, some conclusion of from the, this uh, research is that termites are very different from other social insects. A termite queen can live much longer than a bee queen or queen of ants. Interesting also that termite colony, uh, that uh, the termite colony, mm, uh, uh, in the termite colony, there are so-called sec secondary queens that are actually clones of the primary one that established the colony. Only termites uh, of the worker caste, caste uh, can eat and chew uh, wood. Uh, they feed by a blend of the semi-digested wood particles with saliva secret to soldiers and young nymphs of all castes. But the primary and secondary queens get saliva secret without wood particles, and they cannot digest wood. It looks like presence of wood particles in, in food shortens lifespan of termites uh, from lower castes. Okay, so this is again my conclusion that any presence of plant food is shortening lifespan of insects. So here we can see the castes of the termites. We see the queen, primary queen uh, uh, and primary uh, king. They established the colony and then uh, uh, they produced first workers and then workers, uh, a number of workers, they start to uh, increase and they the workers feed start to feed uh, primary queen and primary king because at first primary king and uh, king and uh, primary queen can digest food can digest but as uh, as, uh, as um, uh, workers start to feed them with saliva secret then they lose this ability to digest food and uh, they uh, start to live and they because of this uh, they don't uh, get any wood particles they live much longer than any other uh, that's a soldier or worker. In, when a colony gets very big, uh, then it is producing so-called elates. Elates, it is reprodu reproductive uh, insects. They fly and they establish new colony, as both female and, and male. And also uh, some secondary queen appears. But what is interesting, secondary queens they uh, uh, they fed by workers only with saliva, so they cannot digest food. So, okay, let's go. Most worker and uh, soldier termites are completely blind as they do not have a pair of eyes. The elates, so this is winged males and females, have eyes along with a lateral uh, ocelli, it's uh, like antenna. Uh, workers may be male or female and uh, are usually sterile, uh, especially in termites that have a nest site separated from their foraging site. Worker termites undertake the most labor within the colony, being responsible for foraging, food short, uh, storage, as well as for brood and nest maintenance. Unlike ants, uh, which undergo a complete meter metamorphosis, each individual termites goes through an incomplete metamorphosis that proceeds uh, through eggs, nymph, and audit stages. Colonies are described as superorganism uh, because uh, the termites form uh, a self-regulating entity, the colony itself. 
So reproductives uh, can live for incredibly long time. Like queens uh, are even known to live longer than 25 years and up to 50 years if they have the perfect uh, conditions, whereas uh, the male tend to live up to seven years. Workers and soldiers may live two to five years. Elevate. These are winged uh, members of the colony. They will soon fly off in search of a partner to create a new colony. De-elevate. De-elevate termites is one that uh, had, has shed its wings. Uh, this is generally a sign that they have found a partner and they are now in the process of creating a whole new colony. Termite uh, social castes, these are reproductives, ster sterile workers and sterile soldiers usually contain members of both sexes in equal numbers, and both males and females develop from fertilized eggs. Reproductive males develop by, uh, by uh, parthenogenesis from unfertilized eggs. The thorax in the termites is joined broadly to the abdomen without the waste characteristic of, of bees, ants, and wasps. Termites have two parts of mem membranous wings, I mean the reproductives, nearly equal in size that break along, uh, along the, the suture, when shed and leaving only the wing base or scale attached to the uh, thorax. This is probably the most distinguishing characteristic of isopterans. So the isopterans are the termites. A mechanism controlling differentiation of termites in the castes are not understood fully. It is known that all nymphs are genetically identical at hatching, at hatching and that all could develop in, into any of the three major castes. The number of individuals in, every, in each caste uh, is in a colony is closely regulated. Normally there are one pair of reproductives and set ratio of soldiers to workers and uh, nymphs. So the ratio of soldiers uh, to workers is established. If members of any caste are lost, uh, additional members of that caste develop from nymphs to restore the balance. Consequently, if overproduction of one caste occurs, selective ca cannibalism restores the balance. Selective cannibalism that workers will kill and eat some <coughs> young nymphs which are already uh, excessive. Okay, here we see again, so the Reproductive uh, termites, the, uh, the founders of the colony, they produce eggs. Then from eggs they are getting larva. Larva is the size of about the same as egg. And then it grows and it, it is turned into a nymph. And the nymph uh, can get uh, to any of these castes, worker, soldier and reproductive, any. So it depends who they will be, it depends on food. But uh, they are genetically identical. All these uh, nymphs are genetically identical. And eventually, uh, when weather is uh, allows, they produce also elate. Elate, it is the, uh, the insect with wings, both female and male. And they can, uh, they can uh, fly away and they can again establish a new colony and then the, the, uh, re this uh, repeats. Okay, here we see the picture, photo of the nymph, worker, a uh, nymph, uh, nymph is growing, and then we, uh, at, at last we have adult, a worker, and adult soldier. Only about 10-15% of colonies are made up of soldiers. The soldier cast uh, uh, has an anatomical and behavioral specialization, and their sole purpose is to defend the colony. Many soldiers have large heads with highly um, modified powerful uh, jars, uh, so enlarged that they cannot feed themselves. Instead, like juveniles, uh, like nymphs, uh, they are fed by workers. Food transferred by mouse uh, may consist of either pasta-like uh, uh, re uh, uh, <laughs> shoot wood and saliva or clear liquid, so clear uh, secret of the uh, saliva uh, gland. This method is used in all termite families. During annual feeding, 
present only among lower termites, a pasta-like liquid or droplet, uh, or droplet is discharged from the anus of the worker and leaked away by the dependent castors. This liquid food, distinct from feces, consists of hindgut uh, fluid contain, uh, containing protozoans, product of digestion and wood fragments. Cellulose is the food source for workers. The ability of termites to degrade uh, lignin cellulose is more efficient than the digestion of less lignified forage uh, grasses in ruminants. The high alkalinity in termite uh, gut uh, segments may act as an alkaline pretreatment to, faci for, to facilitate a subsequent lignin degradation uh, by enzymes. Also, the, uh, the family of the termidia and other termite families produce uh, their own enzymes, uh, the so-called endogenous uh, cellulases. Their ability to decompose wood or soil organic matter largely depends on symbiosis with mutual, mutualistic gut microbes. The mutualistic gut microbes include bacteria, algae, uh, Archaea, 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 and in the case of low termites, cellulolytic uh, flagellates, flagellates as a special bacterium. The termite uh, guts consist of one uh, to several compartments, which harbor predominantly bacteria, protists, <coughs> some uh, archaeal uh, species, new spe few species of fungi, and bacteria fakes, uh, which live in mutualistic relationship and provide nutrition by degrading the tough plant biomass. These microbiomes convert uh, the cellulose and hemicellulose into long-chain fatty acid to be later converted to the short-chain fatty acid, which is finally absorbed by termites. Digestive enzymes play an essential role in the termites' gut for converting the cellulose or other uh, plant parts into nutrients. So you can check uh, the original publication. Okay, see, here we see the picture of the digestive uh, uh, pa pass, pass of the termites. And uh, we, we see here also saliv salivary, salivary gland. Yeah? And uh, then uh, we have uh, foregut here. And then mid gut here and hind gut. Hind gut, it is the place where all this bacteria and fungi and archaea and, uh, and uh, develop and also bacterial phage, phage, phages. Uh, so it is again, it's, uh, they uh, digest wood and they produce this first long uh, chain fatty acids and then short chain fatty acids. And then this. Uh, short chain fatty acids are used as source of energy. So, and of course, uh, termites they have own uh, enzymes to digest cellulose, but not enough, and bacteria uh, make it uh, frozen, digested frozen. The wood feeding uh, termites without the flagellates are not capable to digest the wood, which is poor in nitrogen and nutrients. Flagellates uh, release glucose into the cytoplasm, and uh, this uh, glucose is transformed into pyruvate, and pyru uh, pyruvic, pyru pardon, into pyruvate, and the pyruvate then enters into the hydrogenosomes uh, in, in parabolases. Okay, sorry, I just copied from uh, from publication, from scientific publications, and this sounds a little bit too scientific. And uh, I, I don't know even sometimes how to pronounce it. Okay, higher termites depend mainly on the bacterial communities for digestion of food because protists are harbored in low termites only. Termites gut contain approximately 15 phyla of bacteria, 50 uh, different, different phyla of bacteria, which are more than bacterial diversity found in humans and animal in, in, in intestine. So they are really very diverse. In low termites, bacterial diversity shows uh, symbiotic association with uh, eukaryotic uh, flagellates, uh, while in the higher termites, they show 
symbiotic association with fun, 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 fungal, fungal species. Spirochets, uh, spirochets uh, are, ab are almost absent in fungus growing termites gut, whereas in other high termites they are involved in fiber hydrolysis and fermentation and homoacetogenesis and nitrogen fixation. Okay, here. The uh, structure of the nest, you see that um, it is, the nest is made of uh, pieces of wood and with uh, saliva uh, uh, and uh, so it is like cement, work, saliva works like cement. Cellulose digestion in low termite families depends upon symbiotic flagellate uh, protozoa which live uh, anaerobically, so without oxygen, in the termite hingut and secrete enzymes uh, which are cellulose and uh, cellulobiase that break down cellulose into simple sugar and acetic acid. The termites depend entirely on protozoans for cellulose digestion and would starve with them without them. Newly hatched nymphs uh, acquire a protozoa from older in fact, in, in, infested termites uh, during anal feeding, a type of uh, feeding necessary to lower uh, termites that harbor protozoans. Since the protozoans lost at the time of each molt, uh, uh, then uh, they are reacquired only through anal feeding. Termites live in groups, and therefore uh, termites live in groups that allow contact of molding, molting nymphs uh, with infected non-molting individuals. As for other in social insects, not all members of termite uh, colony feed directly because reproductive soldiers and young nymphs in low families and also all nymphs in uh, family termite uh, dia uh, cannot feed themselves directly, they must be fed by uh, workers. Workers uh, or in families without them, the older nymphs feed uh, the entire colony and f uh, transfer food to dependent casters either by mouse feeding or by anal feeding. Food transferred by mouse uh, uh, may consist uh, of either pasta-like uh, re regurgated uh, shivered wood and saliva or clear liquid. I was already mentioned it. This method is used in all termite families. During anal feeding present on the monovo termites, a pasta-like liquid or droplet is discharged from the anus of the work and leaked away by the dependent casters. This liquid food Distinct from feces, consists of hindergrad fluid containing protozoans, product of digestion and wood fragments. Somehow uh, I repeat this uh, slide twice. Since the anaerobic uh, protozoans, uh, which are necessary for cellulose digestion and, uh, uh, and live in the hindguts uh, of primitive termites, cannot tolerate high concentration of oxygen, these uh, termites have developed a tolerance for high concentration of carbon uh, dioxide. In some species, this may be as uh, high as, uh, I mean, as low concentration as, uh, I mean, as high as 3% of carbon dioxide in, in, in the atmosphere. So really high, because normally it is 400 parts per million. However, ventilation must occur in the nest and uh, it is oft often uh, facilit facilitated uh, by nest uh, architecture. Uh, generally, the outer wall is constructed of hard soil material, distinct from the internal uh, central portion or nursery, which is composed of softer uh, cartoon, uh, cartoon material. Termites require vitamins and nitrogenous uh, food, like proteins, uh, which uh, probably are supplied by, by fungi, normally present in the decayed wood diet common in, to most termites. The fungi also may break uh, down wood into components, components that are easily digested by termites. In addition, one of these uh, eight subfam sub subfamilies of termitidae, the, the macro, uh, the exactly marta termitidae, is associated with cellulotic uh, fungus, uh, fungus uh, thermotisites they cultivate inside their nest. The, uh, the uh, cell, cell, cellulolytic uh, uh, fungerates of termites are typically found nowhere else 
uh, then in termite uh, guts and uh, are essentially transmitted across across host generations. Similarly, many pro prokaryotes uh, present in termite guts are found nowhere else in nature. In addition to the production of enzymes involved in, uh, in uh, ligno, uh, ligno cellulose uh, digestion, gut microbes have numeric numerous and uh, nutritional functions including nitrogen fixation and nitrogen recycling abilities uh, that uh, supplement the nitrogen poor diet uh, of as a host okay this was the uh, this year the publications colonies of fun uh, fungus grow in termites and uh, ethyne uh, termites and uh, ants are among the most impressive animal phenomena in the world. They can have nest volumes of thousands of liters, may persist for decades and uh, contain millions of sterile, sterile uh, workers which are normally the offspring of a single queen. The agricultural symbiosis with fungi uh, has allowed both the ants and termites to occupy previously inaccessible niches uh, uh, that have abundant resources. The phylogenetically most derived genera of the artine ants uh, has, have become dominant herbivores uh, of the New World tropics. And an analogous way, uh, the fungus, fungus growing termites have become major decomposers of the Old World tropics uh, and form perhaps, uh, perhaps the most complex colony and mold, mold uh, structures of any insect in the inter inter uh, in invertebrates group. We see a photo of the termite mound. It is uh, such a mound is in mostly in Africa. Can you can find? And here the uh, how ventilation is organized. So it is um, so air is uh, getting hot air getting out at the top of this uh, mound and then there is good ventilation. In fungus cultivating group, a large fungal, fungal uh, garden is formed by termite, uh, termites workers in their nest, which provide sufficient enzymes for cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignocellulose digestion. Fungal diversity helps uh, in breakdown of cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin, and, pro and production of lacase in termites gut. Termites gut, it, it, this is a microhabitat, uh, is a reservoir, reservoir of various microbial communities' uh, diversity. All the microbial uh, communities in termites gut does not behave as a parasite, but act as a true symbionts. Mole molecular studies have proven the bacterial diversity is paramount di 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 diversity in higher termites gut, Whereas in lower termites, uh, phagulates uh, occupy the maximum, uh, maximum portion. Termites uh, convert plant hard biomass into biofuel with the help of gut microbes and their enzymes. The enzymes present in termite gut show higher enzymatic activity at higher pH range, so it's alkaline uh, range, in workers and soldiers. Due to the different eating habits of workers and soldiers, the gut enzymes show highest enzymatic activity at different pH. The two my main symbioses of a social insect with fungi are similar in many respects, but they differ in others. The fun fungal, fun fungal symbionts of the atin ants rarely fruit and uh, are normally propagated uh, clonally and vertically by dispersing queens. In contrast, the symbionts of macro uh, termi, uh, termitinae often produce sexual fruiting bodies, such that horizontal acquisition of sim symbionts have been in in inferred to be the rule. Also, the exceptions do occur. Symbiotic relationships have had uh, an essential role in termite evolution and involve a range of intestinal microorganisms, including protists. Um, uh, mesonogenic uh, archaea and uh, bacteria. The fungus helps uh, the termites to degrade, to degrade plant derived material like food, dry grass, and leaf, leaf uh, litter on which they live. It uh, grows on a special structure in the nest 
in a, a so-called fungus camp maintained by termites uh, through continuous addition of pre-digested plant substrate while the older comp material is consumed. Okay, here the just schematically uh, proposed uh, what kind of uh, material. Uh, so first we have this wood coming inside and we have uh, what is humic, humic uh, acids and lignite cellulose and then it is broken to mono and oligomers and organic acid and amino acids and then um, it is oxidized uh, to, uh, to uh, carbon dioxide and also car hydrogen can be produced and acet acetic acid or acetate and eventually uh, they produce also methane. Termites uh, construct spongy-like fungus garden uh, or combs possibly of fecal material rich in the carbohydrate lignin. The fungi, uh, fungi grow on the combs and the termites consume both fungi and combs. The fungi break down the fecal matter used to construct the combs and into substances that can be reutilized by the termites. Nitrogen other than, uh, than that from fungi is supplied by controlled cannibalism. The termites consume cast of uh, skins and, uh, and dead, injured and excess members of the colony. So we see photo of this a fungus growing inside the termite colony, so-called mushroom garden. And here also mushroom garden, a little bit different. And uh, sometimes these uh, mushrooms, uh, this uh, mushroom can fruit, can produce fru fruit, in, fruit in bodies. So real. This is so-called termite ma mushrooms. In Thailand, uh, you can get uh, these termite mushrooms. Actually, they are edible. In their development, uh, alates might consume wood particles as a part of uh, their food source. However, dialates that are termite queen king of new, new colony are gradually losing protozoa in their guts and rely on feeding by saliva secretion from uh, new workers without wood particles. Meanwhile, soldiers can digest wood and they, uh, and they uh, and get uh, very small pieces of wood from workers together with saliva secret but uh, they cannot shoo the wood as the man mandibles grow too big. Uh, the intestines of soldiers are smaller and they harbor fewer protozoa than workers of the same size. Young uh, soldiers can shoo wood before uh, the man mandibles uh, will grow too big. Unfortunately, there is no information on content of the worker's saliva. I may speculate that, uh, that it can be close to royal jelly of bees. Also, there is no information on, on the feeding of, uh, high habits of fungi growing termites. Fungi can be a uh, available source of protein for the termite queen. Anyway, as we may see, presence of half-digested half uh, digested wood particles in food for soldiers shortens their maximum lifespan about two times compared to the termite king and uh, 20 uh, limes 20 times compared to the termite queen. I may speculate that this is because plants produce toxins to protect themselves from insects and from fungi. And meanwhile, content of toxins in fruiting bodies of edible fungi is negligible probably. Okay, so again, uh, not so much information available about termites, so we know only that uh, the uh, food uh, 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 soldiers and workers are getting, it is uh, include wood particles. But for uh, primary queen and primary uh, prim and, and secondary queen, they eventually get a clear, liquid, clear fluid with, with no uh, wood particles in it. So, and uh, they live much longer than uh, the other, other members of the colony. But elates, uh, the, uh, the, in, the insects that can fly and organize new and uh, start new colony, they are getting wood uh, particles and they can digest uh, the uh, wood. So before the, uh, they get enough uh, number of workers in the colony, they can eat wood. 
So, okay, then again, uh, I don't produce, provide a health consultant, therefore, a visitor of my channel is advised to discuss the content of this video with his or her personal physician and only act on, upon the advice of professional medical experts. And again, uh, before uh, we will uh, we'll, uh, say goodbye, uh, then um, thank you for your time. Again, uh, please mind that uh, my conclusion is such that any presence of uh, of plant plant particles in the in food is shortening lifespan of these termites. So it looks like uh, that if if uh, we also may follow the idea that uh, we better uh, avoid any uh, plant uh, based food in our diet, we probably will extend our longevity only by the, by this. But but of course we have other mechanism that are show, shortening that are shortening our lifespan and uh, this is uh, accumulation of so-called zombie cells it is also uh, the accumulation of so-called ad advanced uh, glycation uh, end products and uh, so an accumulation of other kind of junk because humans are supposed to live longer than 50 years 50 years it's not a long term actually but the difference between longevity of queens and uh, longevity of workers and soldiers is a show, give us a hint that uh, any uh, plant-based food should be avoided if people want to live longer. Okay, please comment, subscribe, like and ask questions and share information. Have a wonderful day.